Why don't you let Durbin know, Feinstein know, Boxer know, Pelosi know? You know, someone tried this from, uh, it was from uh, InfoWars over the weekend. Oh, we have a wonderful soundbite. One of their reporters tried to talk to Ms. Pelosi, the imperious. They wouldn't let her near, they wouldn't let him near her. They said he wasn't a designated journalist. Do we have that soundbite? I, I know we do. He went up to her, and uh, it's Joe Biggs from Prison Planet in clip number two. Listen to this. Listen and here we this. are. That's the question I asked. So I didn't get much of a response. She kind of put her head down and rushed out of here in her uh, convoy. But uh, it's kind of funny the spot she picked. If you look, we got the swing set. There's a school in the background because, like she said during the conference, that it's all about the children. This humanitarian crisis is all about the children. But when I spoke to the uh, vice president of the Border Control, Border Patrol unit uh, two days ago, he said that the cartels were using these children as a beard. And what was happening was we're pulling these Border Patrol agents off our borders and allowing these other... You can see that full clip of uh, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs up on our YouTube channel. That's what happens when we go and try to confront people and ask real questions. She had a photo op. I don't think she even took questions. And that's what outraged Michael Savage. And it's even worse than that. We see congressmen who are not allowed to have access, who are not allowed to know what's happening to these children. Are they being turned over to a child trafficking operation? He says any member of Congress, this is the congressman from Oklahoma, Jim Bridenstine, he said any member of Congress should have the legal authority to visit a federal youth detention facility without waiting three weeks. Now, joining us in the studio is Alex Jones. Welcome back, Alex. Great to have you here. David, I, I took off a week to spend time with a family. Uh, you know, over the years, I tend to uh, not ever take off, and then I get more and more frantic on air and more and more uh, wild. Uh, which I guess has its place, but it's good for me to take off. So I did take off, and it gives you a lot of uh, retrospective. But also, you can pull back and see the big picture. And so uh, I've got a lot of important things to talk about in the second and third hour today. Again, my flight back into the United States uh, was uh, canceled once it got into Houston last night. The, the flight from Houston back in to Austin once I got back into the U.S. And so uh, that was canceled by about 1 in the morning, so I got up about 5 in the morning. And then that was held back, and then we finally uh -huh. got here about uh -huh. an hour and a half ago. Sounds like our trip to Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah, but well, nothing, yours was even worse. <laughs> yeah. Day after day of being yeah. canceled. Then they lost our luggage, back. canceled our, our car, yeah. Yeah, you can really see America rotting. And I think mm -hmm. that's the perspective I want to talk about, to recognize how far we've fallen so that we can realize why this has been done and how we turn it around. So I've got some pretty heavy issues that obviously dovetails with exactly what you're covering here today because what we're witnessing is tyranny. Mm -hmm. And it's now reached a point, as we warn people for so long it would, where the bottom falls out and there's no restraint. And we are now going to see, as the criminology and psychology shows for thousands of years, before they had the term psychology out of Germany or Russia or England, thousands of years ago, you know, rulers and Social engineers knew the systems that control populations. We also know the types of elites that are out there throughout history and how they manifest. And they start acting out. A psychopath that's killed 10, 15, 20 people starts getting wilder and wilder, taunting the police. Uh, they, you know, they do that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, operating out in the open. Instead of killing one person every few months, starts being two or three a weekend. Uh, Sending them clues so that they can almost want to get caught. Yeah, you know? so and that's what we see happening with these people. I mean, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's a fact that a bunch of these kids are mules. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fact they've been using bases forever for drug dealing. Uh, it's a fact that they, every time we try to go to a press conference, we show up and the military threatens uh, our reporters yes. and says, we'll take your military ID away if you keep coming to these. And we're like, here's the press release. There's a press conference. But it isn't a press conference. They have these things you notice on federal reservations now. Yeah. The congresswomen... Criminals like Pelosi, I mean, this is an arch-terrorist criminal. We're literally destroying the country right now. And then saying we're racist if we don't want one open borders. No one has open borders. If we bordered Switzerland, they wouldn't be letting us in because we don't have the wealth and things they have. And, and, and they wouldn't want us on their welfare system. This is having one of the most failed countries in the world bordering us with the whole world going into depression. I mean, Latin America, the Caribbean, the crime rates have more than doubled on average. Uh, it's all over the news the travel advisories. I just came back from the Caribbean. Uh, and even in the places that have been the, some of the better 
areas with low crime. I talked to the police and they said, no, we just don't put it in the newspaper. Watch out. Mm. And that was in, um, well, I'll talk about it coming up later. It's just that the world is being artificially collapsed right now. And we're going to be discussing that. I, I, come back and put some bookends on this in this next segment and five into the next hour, David. And then I'm going to come in. I'll probably do some overdrive today uh, as well. We may have shuffled Lord Monckton tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, and and, and is, is, is Mr. Dent still on? Yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, again, I literally just took a shower because I didn't have my toiletries. That was in the check-in luggage. So, so I also had to run home and, you know, shave and things. I was sure I was killing people on the plane with bad breath today, <laughs> uh, this morning, but and everybody else around me. But we're going to come back. It's just there's so much to talk about. We can look at all the window dressing articles and, 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 and the latest shoe to drop, but, but it's the larger societal uh, de-evolution we're at that we'll be talking about coming up. Again, I'm Alex Jones, back in the saddle, late, but uh, still here with David Knight, who's done a superlative job, and we want to thank all the sponsors and listeners and the great crew as well. Stay with us. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Hi, this this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Alex is going to be joining us in the next hour live here in the studio. He's going to tell you what he's been doing, relaxing, taking some time with his family as we all need to do. And he's going to have a lot to say, I'm sure, about the massive developments that have happened in the last week or so. The collapse of the border, uh, the now this new bill in California that's going to do away with any due process for anyone who owns a gun. You can just have them seized, your rights terminated by mere accusation. 
And not even just by a psychiatrist, but uh, it can be done by some family member who doesn't like you. Anyone, you don't have a right to a real trial. And we see that happening in area after area after area. Another store up, uh, story up on Infowars.com. Privacy and Civil Liberties Board is mostly unconcerned about PRISM or backbone tapping by the NSA. Now, this is an organization, the... Uh, Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board, PCLOB. Now, if you look up this uh, organization on the web, you see that they describe themselves as an independent bipartisan agency within the executive branch. Well, they criticize the 215 bulk data collection efforts, but now on this 702 program, they are essentially saying, it's legal, it's constitutional, and it's effective as a counterterrorism tool. No, it's not. It's not any of those things. It's not constitutional, it's not legal, and it's not effective to have this PRISM program as well as dragnet backbone tapping. You're not going to see the government agencies stand up and back our individual liberties. But people are realizing that that's exactly what is happening is that we're, we're losing our privacy on just the promise of security. A very encouraging report was one that I just talked about where we had the majority of people in seven different demographic areas said that they would not trade their privacy for security. And of course, the lowest one was 66% with a couple of uh, self-described uh, left uh, viewing uh, demographics, but across the board, it went up to 88%, and it was every one of them, it was a majority of them realized that this was a false promise that we were being given. This is a corrupt, hypocritical government. We see the border collapsing at the same time. They continue to do these rollouts internally, spying on us, handling us with the TSA. Now we've got another incident, and that is Congress people are now no longer going to have to report travel that is paid for by private groups. This is something that was done behind closed doors without a public announcement. It was done by the House Ethics Committee. They reversed more than three decades of precedent where it was counted as a gift. Now, at the same time they're doing that, World Net Daily points out that the feds are doing gunpoint searches of private planes to such an extent that one congressman is trying to, or rather a senator, Senator James Inhofe of Oklahoma, is trying to stop that. He's putting in a pilot's bill of rights. We all have a bill of rights. We don't need a pilot's bill of rights. We need to enforce the bill of rights. The Fourth Amendment needs to be enforced. Let's do that for everybody, not just a few people. But that shows the hypocrisy, doesn't it? Where you've got Congress now saying that they can accept flights to anywhere and it's no longer an ethics issue. But meanwhile, anybody with a private plane is going to get gunpoint searches. That's what we see rolling out as this tyranny is rolling out. One of the ways that you can support this operation, one of the ways that you can get this information out there and help to get people on is with the Mulan Lave belt buckles. We've got 500 of them. It's a limited edition. They're not going to last long at the rate that they're moving right now. A beautiful buckle. It's kind of based on that t-shirt design that we have. And just like I was saying about the Dinesh D'Souza movie, it's a way to support the alternative media. It's a way to increase debate. It's something that you can talk to people about. They're going to ask you, what, what's your belt buckle about? They're going to be sold out in just a few weeks. So go to InfoWarsStore.com. We'll be right back after the break with Alex Jones Thank Live. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNLive.com today. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else 
has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com.